Thank you, Supercarzi. Uh, afternoon, Andrew. Com compliments of the season to you. Um, no KG, no uh, Vernon Fernanda. Are you uh, looking forward to having a go with the new ball uh, two days' time? And uh, for a fast bowler, what, what's it like? Um, wh what do you enjoy about uh, playing at Supersport Park? How's it? Um, yeah, obviously, it's a big loss not having KG at this moment as well. But I'm really excited about the opportunity and really excited to be playing at, in South Africa, first of all, uh, with the Red Bull. Um, it's been a it's been a while, and just really excited to be to be running in with the red ball again. Um, at Super Sport Park, obviously there's some bounce, uh, can be some cracks later on, which which is which I'm excited about from a bowling perspective. Um, yeah, it's just the opportunity for me. Um, whether I take the whether I go first day, second day, wherever it is, it's just about the opportunity and um, sort of to try. We we're, we're very inexperienced, but we. Um, we have played a lot of Red Bull cricket as a, as a unit, so um, I think that's going to be important for us to stick together and try and uh, sort of make the best out of the situation. Uh, guys are very keen, and yeah, we we, we really we had a good good couple of days of training as well. So very excited about this. Thanks very much, Neil. How's it, Andre? Um, traditionally, there's a, a leader of the attack, so. Who's, who's the leader of the attack with KG not there? Is it you or Lungi? We'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, uh, yeah. Like I said, we, we are very inexperienced, but um, we've played so much Red Bull cricket domestically that um, I'm sure they, well, we do have a lot of leaders within the group. But it's not like we're just going out there and, and people are telling us what to do. I think um, we've sort of tuned our game quite a bit and. Um, yeah, it's just about it's just about putting in the performances now as a unit. Tienes. Hi, Andre. Um, I just want to know what what have you made of um, Benton Steelman, um, uh, and and if he if he was to play, um, what would he bring to the attack? Yeah. I, He's a, he's a very good bowler. He's got a lot of control and skill. So I don't think I've actually played with him or I haven't played with him a lot. But from what I've seen in the, in the nets and what I've heard, obviously we're from the, from the same franchise. And um, he's got a lot of talent. So I think he can bring sort of that. Um, he, he can trouble a lot of guys, especially at Centurion. He can trouble, trouble a lot of guys, asking the right questions um, all of the time. So um, I think that's definitely going to be something that he can bring to the table. Uh, if, if he's in the team and um, he's got so much, like I said, so much control. It's it's sort of a burn, but I don't want to want to label that on him. But that's sort of a that um, that role that he can play. And then we'll have to see what what the rest is. But um, very excited for him as well. Ken and then Alan. Andrew, you mentioned. Uh, uh, bowling as a unit, uh, we often hear uh, talk about partnerships and, and how important it is and it extends to bowling as well. Could, could you just tell us just how exactly uh, a bowling attack bowls in partnerships? What, what are the things you're trying to do? Yeah, I think we, had a, we actually had a meeting about it yesterday and or it just came up in one of the meetings and one of the things for me was against England where I felt like I where I found I got a couple of wickets was bowling, especially with Dwayne at a stage as well in, in some of the games. Um, and it just felt like we had a good partnership going. It's about one guy sort of controlling and the other one also controlling but trying to take wickets. So it's, it's just about understanding the role that you're doing in the team and, and at that stage. And that might change as well. I might be the one who, who needs to control where Dwayne goes and, and take wickets at that stage or during that series. So, it's just about understanding what you have to do in that moment, in that situation, and then um, try and contribute as much as you can from all side. And obviously, you have to believe in the other guy. And then, at the end of the day, when you when you bring the run rate down, that's generally that's generally the, the partnership you're talking about is where you bring the run rate down, and and you can sort of try and frustrate them, play a shot that they they shouldn't be playing, and then get a wicket. So, uh, in the, at the end of the day, I think it's probably all about the, the run rate, but then. Conditions also dictates a little bit what what one should do and what your role is at that stage in the game. 
Thank you, thank you, Enric. Um, Alan, and then Neil Mantle. Thanks, Supercazi. Uh, hi, Enric. Um, two years ago, Sri Lanka came to South Africa and, and won. Uh, you weren't in the side then. How are they going to go this time around against 150 kph on two of the spicier tracks in South Africa? Well, I have to wait and see. I'm, I don't want to think uh, here too much. Um, trying to keep it basic, as basic as possible and um, as simple as possible. So, yeah, it is something that we sort of aware of the last time they were here, they, they did beat us. So it's definitely something we want to rectify. Um, hopefully we can do it by just being simple, um, as simple as possible. Um, it's obviously there is going to be a little bit more bounce, a little bit more pace. So if we can use that, we're definitely going to use that to our advantage, but we don't want to get carried away. You don't want to go into a game thinking you're going to bomb guys out and it's not going to happen. So um, everyone's playing international cricket for a reason. So um, at the end of the day, I think if we can, if we can sort of hit our straps, um, it's going to ask a lot of, we're going to ask a lot of questions. Cheers. Neil? And it reminds a similar sort of question, a bit of a follow-up. Historically, the Sri Lankan batsmen have been seen to be vulnerable against the, the short ball, particularly away from home. Um, but, but the subcontinental batsmen, particularly the Indian batsmen, have, uh, have developed uh, pretty robust techniques against the short ball. So I was just wondering, what Prasanna's laptop has um, has been uh, information has been feeding you before this series? Yeah, there's look, there's obviously always a lot of information on Prasanna's laptop, um, and yeah, fairly so. We try and we try and see every sort of from every angle where and what we can do. But um, at the end of the day, as well, it's it's a little bit of different conditions for them as well. So. If there's someone that's not comfortable on the short ball, he's definitely going to get the short ball. If there's someone that's comfortable with it, he's not going to get it too much. He's still going to get it, but not too much. So it's just about reading the conditions as well. Obviously, we've got so much information um, when we go back upstairs or, or yet the hotel. So there's so much information for us regarding that. And um, things can change as well. So you don't want to look too deep into it. You want to understand where the guy is going to look to score and, and where his strengths are. You're going to get him out. But then... On the day, maybe even he might struggle with it and then we're going to give it to him. And then on another day, he might be playing it very well. And then you just, like I said, go back to your basics. So, um, he's a little bit in between, but it's definitely going to, we're definitely going to be involved in a couple of short balls. Thank you. And the final question is Nasri for Anrich. Thank you, Shibukazi. Um, hi, Andrich. Um, I was just wondering, you you haven't played a Red Bull match uh, for quite a while. Um, just how do you overcome that lack of Red Bull match practice um, heading into Saturday? <clears throat> yeah, it's actually the first time in my career that I haven't played a Red Bull for so long. So, I've always played... Uh, the Red Bull's always been the format I've, I've been selected in the most. So, um, it is something at the start where I thought... Um, Yes, I haven't played it in a while, but then also you get used to things very quickly again. And it's not like T20 cricket where, where you have to sort of think quickly, what's the batsman going to do? It's more about being consistent and um, hitting your straps more more times than not. So it's a little bit different, it's more the other way around when, when you haven't played, I think, T20 in a long time. Um, we have to sort of think a lot where, where yeah, it's more about the rhythm and, and how the body is feeling and how sort of the control that you can have on the day. So um, it is something that I'm that I'm aware of, but it's something that I'm, I'm also quite comfortable of, of late now again, having the Red Bull, having a couple of good sessions back home and yeah, at the, at the, um, while we were training. So I'm quite comfortable and um, positive about this, about this, these two games. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andrew. That's it.